Millions of Angelenos will find out today if we'll have to mask up. The LA County Health Department is expected to announce that decision later today. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in Silver Lake with the details. Cara. Good morning, Marcy. Lots of folks trying to figure out how this might affect them. We are at Astros and Silver Lake, and you can see some of the outdoor eating area they have added. They say since they have this, folks who don't want to go indoors because they've got lots of uh, indoor seating as well to mask up if that mask mandate comes back, will have some seating options, and they're hoping that will help ease any tensions. Sometimes the customer forgot this mat, right? And then when I ask, you have the mat, and the customer get mad and go back. It, it, it not come in the restaurant. Yeah. And he says the pandemic hit this restaurant hard. He tells us the current families that own Astros, they have been running it since the 1980s. So what can they and the rest of us expect today? Take a look. During her last meeting over Zoom, L.A. County's health director said, Health leaders will announce a decision once they can look at the latest hospital admission rates today. During the past week, she indicated twice that the county's plans to bring that mask mandate back could be put on hold if the numbers drop enough. She says COVID case numbers have been coming down, but as the virus is still taking a huge toll, it was the leading cause of death, she says, during the first six months of the year. Now, on Tuesday evening, the cities of Long Beach and Pasadena, they have their own health departments. They said they would not enforce a new indoor mask mandate. Beverly Hills City Council said the same thing on Monday. Here's Director Barbara Ferrer with what she had to say yesterday. The question everyone has to ask themselves is how much death do you want to tolerate before you ask people during these extraordinary times of high transmission to put their mask back on? And Marcy and Chris, one of the other things that's being considered is possibly not putting the full mask mandate back into effect for all those public indoor spaces, but maybe just having that in place for things like pharmacies or grocery stores. So, again, we expect to learn a lot more later today, and we'll bring you that information as soon as we get it.